Good morning. It is day 166, August the 27th. We spent a very nice night at the Stahican Valley Ranch. It was a good price, all meals included. Very nice tent cabin bed. And we got a bus this morning to the trailhead down at the Stahican River. And this is actually an old wagon trail <laughs> that Penny's thinking she's <laughs> having fun on. But it follows the Stahican River. The history of this area is mining. Uh, Stahican is a very quaint town. It is landlocked. I think I've said this before. You can only get in by walking, horses, ferry or float plane and it's, it's just done and outright quaint <laughs> it's at the head of or nearly at the head of the largest lake in Washington Lake Chelan and I think I've said that wrong but we have some great food from the Stahican Bakery it cinnamon was, rolls were to die for oh, it was a bakery to die for all over and so our packs are a little heavy because we have included some fresh food also from the local garden. But we only have, how many days? Oh, five now. Five days left. Excluding this morning. So that is 80 miles to the border where we will touch it, cuddle it, hug it, kiss it and write in the book. And then sadly, because Canada has put the permits on hold, it'll be 30 miles back to the first available road where we can get picked up at Hearts Pass. But, oh well, that's the price of our day at the office, an extra day at the office. So the, today is sunny. We are hoping that the weather is going to stay good for the next five days and that will certainly make things very enjoyable but we do have a good menu for the next few days yes we've packed it in <laughs> big time <laughs> look at this <laughs> oh well it's not a three hikers pack gina we've arrived at bridge camp five miles down the track and just around here it's what I call an idyllic campsite. We're just having morning tea here though. Biscuits from the bakery. Biscuits from the bakery. <laughs> and a fresh peach. There is a fire ban for the Lake Chelan area. And up here is the beer can. This is good beer country. Although I have yet to see one. But I'm going to go and eat my biscuit. I think uh, Bethany was a cow girl. She has a cow girl hat on. Cow and hat on. she sat with them and ate. I think Bethany actually was from France and they do a backcountry trip. Just chatting about these uh, ladies and the horses, they were staying in the, at the ranch when we were there, weren't they? Yeah. like us they get thirsty and this is a really cold Very cold dish yeah
Oh, yeah. I might have an injury. Hello. Good, and yours? Perfect. Yours? Well, we have left Stahican and did a very nice 19 and a half miles after being dropped off at the high bridge by the bus and we are probably at one of our worst campsites ever. But before I explain, Penny, what are you doing? Well, this peach was squashed, so I'm rescuing it for breakfast, but from the special place called the gardens and Near Stahikin, we purchased an organic carrot fresh out of the garden, some broccolini, and we're having uh, we're having potato, and we're having salmon, and oh, yes, olive oil, <laughs> <laughs> and we've got. On the bacon, we've got brownie for dessert. Look at that, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. But we've got two more hard days. And then the border day, which will be exciting. And the easy day back to heart. The easy one and a half days back to heart pass. All right. It's looking good, Gina, for the finish line. It is. Five days. Five days. Four wow. and a half now, isn't it? I think so. Oh. Anyway, we are actually camped beside the very scenic, I think it's North Cascade Scenic Highway number 20 at Rainy Pass. Um, we have a water station up there in the distance. We have a tent. And to top it all off, occasionally we actually know that we are parked behind a toilet. It's not in bad shape, and it has toilet paper, so... A rubbish tin. Oh, and a rubbish tin for, um, protected for the bears. So not too bad. Every time somebody opens the door, <laughs> we know we're behind the toilet, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, so end of a great day. Nearing the end... I think we, we, we're tired, but we will be certainly happy when we get to the end and we will enjoy the last few days in the North Cascades and apparently the scenery just gets better from here. Well, here we are oh, at a milestone. Yeah. Less than 100 miles to go. We're at 2,600 miles. And we've just left Granite Pass and we were climbing around, traversing around about 6,000 feet, 2,000 metres. And it's a great traverse. This terrain is steeper than it looks and if this trail wasn't here it would be pretty difficult to walk. I wouldn't call it hiking, it's almost scrambling and mountaineering and um, I guess we just want to say a big thank you to the people as early as the 1930s who have built this National Scenic Trail. It's a wonderfully uh, graduated trail making it accessible to many people and we have a, we appreciate that it has been pretty well maintained and I would recommend the trail to the average hiker it's fantastic it traverses the mountain tops a lot and I think I'll go home and write an essay about why people are attracted to mountain views Good morning. It is day 167, August the 28th. 
We're currently at mile 2597, I think. Uh, coming up to Methal Pass. And we are certainly skipping across the tops in Washington around 6,000, 6,500 feet. It's a sunny day. It's going to be hot again today, of which we're thankful. We certainly enjoy the tops. It's um, The views are just great. And we hopefully soon will be able to look out onto the mountains in Canada in the distance. But as you can see, the track meanders around the side of the mountain and then up to the passes. This is a good day at our office. It's near 6 p.m. and we've got about one and a half miles to our planned destination, which will make it about 25 miles. But you know, when you start walking along the tops like this, it revives the soul and the spirit. And I think that's something special about the PC. The scenic trail it traverses a lot of tops and provides you with the most stunning views. Just when you're starting to feel that it may be tedious or slightly repetitive, out comes the Goat Rocks, the Castle Crag, Shasta, a mountain beautiful scene and it picks you up again but tomorrow will be the last day of making mileage before our day to the border and round here is a camp spot We arrived here about just after quarter past six, scrambled down and saw this little oasis of a campsite with a fire pit and there was some wood here but we are camping on grass tonight and just beyond just there is a little stream with a pond And tomorrow we head up over there, hoping to do about at least 23 miles, I think. But it's been a good day at the office. We're getting closer. And Gina, she's waiting for her to see it. Look at her tablecloth. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Look at her. I better go and do it. It's uh. Apricot crumble! <laughs> One of our favourites! <laughs>